For applications that require a load to be lifted or suspended overhead, chain and lever hoist are most commonly used for the job. However, when load-bearing beams are present, attaching the hoist to the beam can present a challenge. Today we'll talk about beam clamps and trolleys and how you can safely install and put them to use for your application. At eRigging, we offer three different options of beam attachment products. Beam clamps, plain beam trolleys, and geared beam trolleys. Beam clamps are fairly simple in design and are composed of a set of jaws that open and close by the operation of a threaded handle. The jaws are designed to fit around and onto the flange of a beam and then be tightened to the beam so that it may serve as a stationary attachment point for lifting and suspending devices. Plain beam trolleys are designed to freely traverse the length of the beam flange it is attached to, giving flexibility to the operator and allowing the load to be easily moved from one place to the other with ease. Geared beam trolleys are essentially the same device as the plain beam trolley with one major exception. Geared beam trolleys feature wheels that are fitted with gears and chain. The trolley is designed so that when either side of the chain is pulled, the gears and wheels of the trolley will move back and forth along the beam flange, allowing the operator to more precisely move a load from one place to the other. To properly install a beam clamp, first open the jaws of the clamp so that they are wide enough to fit over the beam flange. Once the jaws of the clamp have fit over the beam flange, use the screw handle to tighten the clamp firmly onto the beam and be sure that the beam flange is seated properly within the jaws before attaching any type of lifting devices or loads to the clamp. To install both plain and geared beam trolleys, first measure the width of the runway beam. Next, assemble the suspension plate and the required number of spacer washers to the hanger pin on the inside of the trolley side plates so that the dimension between the trolley wheel flanges is one quarter inch larger than the beam flange. Assemble the remaining washers to either side of the trolley side plates and fit the nuts to the hanger pin. It is important to note that for geared beam trolleys, the hanger pin may need to be offset so that it will not come into contact with the hand wheel. This can be accomplished by placing the required amount of washers to the hanger pin on both sides of the side plates. With the trolley loosely assembled, spread the side plates, allowing the trolley wheels to be placed over the beam flange so that the trolley will properly sit on the beam. Lastly, tighten the nuts against the washers and insert the safety pins that are provided. We hope this video has cleared up any questions or concerns you might have about the selection and installation of beam clamps and trolleys for your application. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our website. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on various rigging topics. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.